Big breaking news coming in, a big blot on the army's reputation. A gift scandal has hit the Assam Rifles, which is headed by the army officers on deputation. The Director General's discretionary fund meant for Jawan's welfare has been splurged on silk saris for MHA officials and scotch bottles for the army's top bosses. Headlines today has access documents that prove how corruption has seeped deep into the system of India's oldest paramilitary force. The gift cake papers show that the loot has been going on for years. In 2008, money was wasted on chocolates and silverware for MHG officials and even tickets for a helicopter joint for the DG and his wife. The next year, it was a similar splurge on cakes and chocolates for MHG babus. In 2009, money was downed in a premium scotch bottles for Union Home Secretary and even the Army Chief. But in the same year, it was splurged to buy Muga saris for the wives of uh, civil dignitaries of MHA. Ditto the next year when silk saris were bought for the wives of MHA bosses. And here are the officers who need to answer for the misuse of money meant primarily for the welfare of its personnel. Lieutenant General K.S. Yadava, who was the DG Assam Rifles from 2008 to 2010 and spent the money like his personal fortune. Lieutenant General Rameshwar Roy, the DG of Assam Rifles from 2010 to 2012, was now being sent back to the MOD and remains at an ad hoc position after allegations of financial misuse. But the bigger question is how we continue to ill-treat the men who stay ever ready to lay down their lives for the nation. Poor working conditions, long years away from families and yet they are rewarded with precious little. Well, that is the story that Headlines Today has been tracking. Remember, we have been telling you about uh, this kind of abuse within the army, the corruption that has seeped into the system over the past few months. We even brought you stories last year and now more evidence of corruption within the Assam Rifles. Well, well, Major General Retired Cheru Tapial uh, joins us. Uh, uh, General, what do you make of these revolutions? You see, Rukmini, I think this has been uh, reported by you earlier also. And I watched your program a little earlier where somebody was trying to say that these amounts are too insignificant and, you know, one right. shouldn't get too worried. But I personally feel that a theft, whether of one rupee or one crore, is the same thing. And uh, the other thing which needs to be remembered is that in the army, no effort is ever made to sweep the things under the carpet. You recall that General Amisha Roy was recalled from uh, the Assam Rifles, and I'm sure uh, action will be taken if he's proved guilty. And this is not the first time an action has been taken in the army. There are many instances, I don't even have to name them. But I recall even when General Rodriguez was the army chief in 1991, he had removed eight uh, senior officers, some lieutenant generals, some major, some brigadiers, under Army Rule 19 at one go for moral turpitude. So if these kind of things happen, firstly, they should never happen because People get perturbed because they have too much of faith in the army. They don't get perturbed when uh, politicians lose hundreds of crores of rupees and right. others also. But they get perturbed when anything of this nature happens in the army. So the onus is on the army to make sure that firstly these things do not happen. And secondly, if they do happen, action is taken promptly.